Athletic Department, and here today again, we're inside the Waco Center with the Coaches Show. And today, we are back here with head football coach Mike Keller. Coach, good to see you again here this week. Yeah, it's good to be here. Tell you what, we uh, home over for coming this week, but uh, looking back, we opened up week play last Saturday, and we fell to one and one. There was, uh, you know, a lot of good things happened on both sides of the ball, but also some mistakes on both sides of the ball. But uh, as far as uh, to begin with, uh, offensively, you know, we, we did outgained them, moved the ball uh, very well, uh, big parts of the day. What are some some key things, some positive things you had on on the offensive side of the ball, and especially in that kind of weather? Well, when it's when it's raining like that, you got to win a different type of ball game. You know, the, uh, going to Quincy and and it being perfect conditions and throwing the ball over the park. We knew Concord was going to play a, a double zone or a two deep zone and try to double our outside guys and. And uh, so that's kind of what they want to play, and it kind of fits how we play to stop us. Um, we talked all week about we're going to have to be able to run the football, and then you come out and it's, a, it's pouring the rain down, and then you really have to run the football because it's, it's mm. difficult. I think their quarterback and the quarterback we're playing this week, you know, if you asked me before the season, I would have said those are the two best quarterbacks in this league. Um, both, you know, and, and their kid had a hard time throwing the football just like our kid did. Uh, we did outgain them, you know, like you said, but uh, – at the end of the day, we didn't do enough good things to win. We made too many. We did too many mistakes. Uh, you know, not really turn. We had a couple of turnovers, but the one, only one, I'm really hard. But too many penalties, too many self-inflicted wounds. You know, that hurt us. But but the positives coming out of the game was we were able to get the game, the run game going a little mm -hmm. bit. You know, at halftime, Coach Cook said. Uh, he told the old line, we're going to have to win this game on your backs. And Saeed Galloway came in, and then we got Alfred going once he got going. And uh, we were able to run the ball, you know, pretty effectively in that second half. And as you can see on, when you watched it, I mean, that opens up all your play-action games and, and allows you to get some one-on-ones on the outside. And, and uh, you were moving the ball. I mean, you yeah. were running and then had the one fumble down inside of your territory, down around the 30, yeah. and then the interception down at the goal line. Yeah. In the fourth quarter, so I mean, those were drives where you know you were, you know, eating up chunks of yardage and moving it down the field. And then in the first half, there was uh, we were stopped on downs and drove deep in our territory. We well, yeah, the first we come out three and out, um, then we, we hold them to a three and out, and then we get a drive going. We hit we hit the tight end on the on the crossing route for a big gainer. Uh, had two guys open, you know, we had a flat route open on a third and five, and then we jump off sides, you know, one of those one of those self inflicted penalties that we mm -hmm. talked about. Uh, and we got a fourth and ten, and, and we run an outside go route. And I think Concord blew the coverage, and, and we got a guy wide open, and it was just a overthrow. You know, if the ball's two yards back this way, it's seven nothing us. Yeah. And you know, in a game like that, that changes the complexion of, of, of the game for you. Well, flipping to the defensive side of the ball, they had several stops throughout the day, yeah. and then. Uh, um, Really kept them from getting hitting the big play. Yeah, and uh, they had a couple, you know, uh, runs down around the thirty on in there with their first two touchdowns. But several of the stops that looked like, you know, we, we extended the drives. Uh, yeah, know, a couple mistakes, but but by and large we we were you know shutting them down. Most I thought of the our day. defense. I thought Concord's skill. We talked about this week ago was as good as there is. Um, you know, they they really really got a couple really good receivers. They got three backs, and when I told you that last week, I lied to you because they they played a fourth back this week that didn't play in week one, yeah. and, and he could jump out of your shoes as well. So they got four really good backs, exit quarterback. Well, they've improved their teams. They're much better up front than they were a year ago. You know, they're able to protect the passer and run the ball a little bit more. Their tight end got involved. You know, in the, with, with some good big blocks on their power scheme and their counter scheme. Uh, we had a we had a third and ten on their own two, you know, they're ninety eight yards away and and the quarterback lays the ball off the little crossing route and it, it's tackled for, you know, they're five yards short and and they call it personal foul and I mean the, they'll see it on tape. I mean just just a I mean I, I we, we, we got on the kid who did it pretty hard and we owe him an apology. <laughs> so and it, that led that extended to, that, that drive extended that drive that led to a touchdown and you know, we're, we're just fragile right now as a football team. Like, like the thing that disappointed to me was this point to me was we've got to learn to win 10, seven ball games, 14, you know, 10, 17, 10 ball games. Uh, we, we like the feeling of Quincy going out there and winning big. I mean, but who doesn't, but truth of the matter is in this league, you ain't winning a bunch of games like that. Yeah. You're going to have to play possession by possession. You're going to have to, to make completions, punt the ball deep, play field position. You're going to have to win some games. Whether it's 31, 28, or 17, 14, you're going to have to win some games like that. And we didn't feel comfortable. We could have easily won that ball game 14, 10, um, you know, usually, you know, I coached down there and, 
Coach Walker and I have a good relationship. He's a, he's an alum here. Every coach, when we talk before the game, we're like, this is a fourth quarter game. It's going to come down to last possession. Every coach who watched that tape thought it was an even game going into it. And it shows a 21-7, but truthfully, it was a very close football game that could have went either way. Yeah, and like you mentioned, in those kind of games, there's three or four plays could have sure. dictated, sure. you know, everything either way. So, But now, uh, one-on-one, and uh, with Pembroke coming in here for the uh, home opener this yeah. week, uh, what do you see, uh, you know, from the Braves? Same same team we've been seeing. I mean, a very fast football team. Um, you know, they're, they're excellent pass rushers. Uh, secondary is good. Um, you know, a 4-3 scheme, three good linebackers. You know, from what I can see on tape, their kick game solid. they got the same quarterback since I've had the job here. They've had the same quarterback the entire time. So he's a guy who he's a coach's kid. He knows how to run the show. He extends plays. Uh, I think it's his greatest quality, his, his ability to extend a play. Not so much uh, running with it the way you think of uh, uh, Lamar Jackson or Michael Vick running with it, but more like the way Ben Roethlisberger or Pat Mahomes, those kind of guys who Brett Favre who could extend the play and then hit someone open on a scramble drill. Uh, mm-hmm. So our work's cut out for us. You know, they're big up front. They got a lot of speed. Uh, you know, you know, I've talked about before in the track world that yeah. a lot of their guys are, are track guys who could really run. And all those names are really the same names that have been around for a while. Good jumpers in that group, yeah. too. And, uh, yeah. Hard to defend. <laughs> hard to defend. Hard to defend. You know, yeah. but we uh, we got some guys ourselves who mm-hmm. can run and, and do some things. What we need right now is a good week of prep. And uh, we got to acknowledge what mistakes we made at Concord and fix them. Uh, so that we don't make them again moving forward. We got nine more of these games. This is a home opener. Pembroke's a good football team. It should be a good test for us. Uh, I know as a coach, I'm excited, and I like to think our team is. Yeah. What uh, as far as the the fans, obviously, got a, you know a lot more skilled players as far as you know, an explosive team. Just for the fans coming out here for the home opener. Uh, uh, you know, what would you want to say to the Pioneer faithful coming out here? Oh, give us you're you're going to enjoy this team. I mean, there is no doubt about it. We've got we've got some really good skill guys that that could uh, that'll keep the game exciting. Um, you know, we're good we're good in the kick game, and this team's going to play hard. You know, our defense uh, our defense will get after the pass a little bit. Uh, our secondary is really good, and, and for the most part, you know, we got to do a little bit better job stopping the run. But for the most part, we play good defense. This is an exciting team. Uh, it's a fun team to coach. We've got a bunch of good kids, and uh, and they're not just good, try-hard guys. They're, mm-hmm. There's a lot of talent in this group. Uh, last couple of years, uh, from where, I, when, where we were here in 2019 to where we're at now, our talent level is a lot, lot higher. So I think it'll be a fun team to watch. It'll be a good team to stand behind, and, and we're going to need we're going to need the home fans. I mean, we've been road warriors for two weeks, and uh, I love nothing more than this place to, to be packed and rowdy and and uh, ready to go to help our team win a game. Yeah, it's something positive. I mean, you know, it was, it was, it was a hard-fought loss. Yeah. And here on, you know, Monday, those kids coming in today, they were upbeat, having to skip in their step and tell, you know, they weren't hanging their head. But well, that's good to hear. To work. Yeah, it's a, it's a, we lifted this morning. We, we practiced this evening. It, it's a, it was a very physical football game, you know, so, uh, but we got to put that behind us. We got some bumps and bruises, but I'm sure everyone does this time of year. And, and uh, it's good to hear that our attitudes are good and, and it's going to have to be because we got a big test this weekend. They were very excited for this home opener and uh, you know, looking for a big crowd out here on Saturday. And so that'll be this Saturday out here at Morris Stadium. Coach, we'll be talking next week to go over that. And thank you for joining thank us you. today. Yep. And thank you all for joining us out there. See you next week.